Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm here with one of my teammates, Alex. Alex is going to be playing for the Rochester Lancers this winter, his first season of professional indoor football. You excited, mate? Oh, for sure. We've been training a lot, so good things are coming forward. Yeah, absolutely. So today we're going to get a finishing session in. So we're just using the goal, just me and Alex. We're going to be going through a few different scenarios. So I'll try and give you some coaching points. If you're a player, if you're training with another teammate, or if you're a coach and you work with players, you can take away some of these coaching points for your sessions as well. But we're just going to do a lot of finishing, just working on different techniques, different scenarios that we might encounter during a match. So it should be really good. Of course, we're doing a lot of shooting, so we need to get really warmed up because it's a very explosive movement, striking the ball over and over again, so we don't want to get any injuries. So let's get into the warm-up. First drill, just going to work on a little checking movement to create the space for the shot. So all we're going to do is check into here and then peel out a little scan. And then this touch, I want it to be 90 degrees and out of your feet. Okay. Because we really want to wrap it into that far side. Continue. So that this is going to give us the shape. Because what we want to achieve is wrapping it so it's out of the keeper's reach and then back into the goal. Because if I take a 45 degree touch, more like this, it's going to be really hard to wrap it. I might still be able to place it, but it's going to be in the goalkeeper's reach. Okay. But if I approach from 90 degrees, that's going to allow me to curve around the ball. And we're really looking to wrap it. And if it hits the bottom corner, top corner, or the side of the skills, that's perfect. Also with this first touch, as it's coming in, we don't want it too close to our feet. If it's right here, it's going to be really hard to dig it out and generate any power. It's probably going to go over the bar or just float to the keeper's hands. We really want that touch out of our feet so we can stride into it and then generate that power. Okay? Yes. Check in, check out scan, little touch, yes, lovely touch, great start, love that, three, two, one, yep, open out, yes, good adjustment, finish Alex, three for three here, here we go, well done, it's a great start, love that, we're trying to get away from the defender, you're kind of checking here, but just keeping it tight, so you're having to take that touch with your right, okay. really want to create that angle, so that when the ball's on its way, the defender's going to come towards you, so then you take the touch beyond them. Because if I'm a defender, I'm going to step towards you. You take that touch, my momentum's going against. Okay. So really check in, boom, pow. Okay. And then finish, all right? Yep. Touch. There you go. Yep. The touch. Ah. Yep. 
one, go. Check out, better. Bang, perfect. There you go, it's better shape though, it's better shape, I like it. Check in, check out, yep. Stretch out your feet, better. Well done, good adjustment. Okay, it's alright. I don't mind that. Three, two, one, check in, out. Out your feet, yep. Okay, like this. Now you're getting it in your stride before, if you're just opening up, you're really having to try and like dig it out of the ground. But if you give room for yourself, push into it, and if you notice, when you take that touch, you're already on the acceleration on this foot. So you push, accelerate into it, couple strides, generate the momentum, a little bit of your chest over the ball now. It should be going in, all right, here we go. Three, two, one, check in, check out, better. Touch out your feet, yes, great touch. See that? Wide, good. Out your feet, yes. There we go, perfect, perfect. Let's go again. Two more of those. Check in. Touch, yeah, that's a good touch. Brilliant, brilliant. It's fine, we'll take it. Last one, same consistency. Here we go. Out your feet, good touch. Lean in. Okay, okay. Fine. We've got loads more drills, we're gonna get a lot more left foot. Okay, mate, next one. So, working on a different setup touch here. Check away, check in to receive the ball. Inside touch, slightly on the move, back in the direction it just came from. That's just to shift the defender. So as we take that touch, the defender comes with us, and then we're gonna take a second touch in the opposite direction, because they're gonna be off balance, so then we can exploit the space on the opposite side. So two ways you can take this first touch. We can either take it like this quickly, staying balanced on this leg, and then push it, or we can delay even more if we want to. So we take a touch in the direction, clamp both feet, and then take it in this direction. But again, we want to get that ball out of our feet with our second touch, so it's not caught underneath us, so we need to lean back. So we really want to push it out of our feet so we can come onto it, wrap it into the far side. So let me just give you a little demo. The ball comes in, touch, bang, out my feet, wrap it into that corner, okay? Yep. Yep. Great start, that's perfect. Three, two, one, check in. Touch, okay. Brilliant, yep. One more of those. Three, two, one, check in. Touch, out your feet, finish. Yes, check in, touch, great touch, yes. Great shape, love that finish, well done. And again, three, two, one, boom. Great strike. Another one, three, two, one, touch. Yeah, fine, well done. Good ah, good. one. Touch, lean back. Yo! Three, two, one, play. Ah. Good finish. Last one, here we go. Three, two, one. Out your feet. Better. Good finish. Good finish. Three, two, one. Yep. Touch. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It, now you're 90 degrees and the good thing about this is with our left foot we want to be a little bit cautious with it usually but if we shift it 90 degrees it forces us to whip it if you come onto it like this like I was doing at the start I just kind of keep my arms by my side if you whip it 90 degrees you have to get around it so you've got to add more momentum so really make sure that setup touches straight behind you three two one check in big touch yep Oh, good start, good start. Three, yep. two, one. Touch me. Out. Yeah, better touch. Yeah, good shape, good shape. Now we've got to lean over it a little bit. Good shape. Three, two, one. Open in. Out. Yep. Good finish. Great finish. One. Check in. Touch. Good setup. 
lean, yeah, good finish. Two more of those, three, two, one, bounce. Yep, out your feet. Let's go, let's go. You just need to get out your feet a little bit more. Three, two, one. Touch, out your feet. Yeah, that's the one. That's it, see, great strike, good finish. Okay, mate, so moving into the next one here, working on a little bit of awareness. So we're gonna start behind the defender. We're checking in front of the defender to receive the ball, create a little bit of distance. And as you can see, we've got two colors, blue and green. So as the ball's on its way, you're gonna shout one of the colors. Blue. I'm gonna take my touch in that direction. So if I come in front, you say blue, I take my touch to the blue. Okay. In here, try and be creative. So you can take it with the outside of the foot, the inside of the foot, you can spin up. Just be creative and take it out of the comes, okay? Blue. Blue. Strike. Green. Blue. Whoa! Yep, blue. Yep, green. Strike. Blue. Yep, green. Fine. Blue. Strike. The ball comes in. Don't take your touch and then spin. Just going to be too delayed. The defender might just get his body in between you and the ball. Mm -hmm. What I want to see you do is it's a type of turn that you can push all in one movement. So you're going to catch the defender off guard. Check in, blue. Yes, love it. Great finish. Good start. Relax. Three, two, one. Check in, green. Yes, good touch. Good finish, Alex. One more. Three, two, one. Check in front, green. Yes. Great round. Great finishes, check in, blue. Yes, great turn. Great finish. Back across goal, I love it. Three, two, one, blue. Yes, finish. Woo! Last one. Three, two, one, check green. Yes, great feet. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> Next one, mate, a little bit more movement involved. So this is the defender. We start on this side. I'm going to check to create an angle for you to play me the ball. I'm going to bounce, but this is the important part, the run here, because we want to stay on side. What a lot of players do, they play that pass and they'll just sprint forward straight away, hoping that ball is going to be played. The only problem with that is, if my pass back to you isn't perfect, if I bobble it in and you need to take one extra touch and can't play it first time, I'm going to run straight offside. So what I want to see is, as you bounce that pass, it's a little check out here, and then a diagonal run. So instead of this, bop in here, it's pass, little back pedal, and then a diagonal, because then I can adjust my run. So if you do need that extra touch, I can delay for a second and then go. So then I'm staying on side, but that's just a small detail. Play you, check out, you play the ball in here. I want to see this kind of finish. Low and a cross goal. Three reasons. Low, it's hard for the keeper to get down. B, going to come across to cover the near post exposing that far side and three if we aim low we're gonna have more chance of success because if we do lean back let's say the ball gets out of our feet and we lean back it might rise into the top corner but if we aim for the top corner and we're off balance it's going to go even higher so we aim for bottom corners and if we are off balance a little bit and it rises into the top corner absolutely fine that standing foot you want to open it out towards that corner that when you strike the ball, your hips align in that direction. So if you keep it here, it's either going to go middle of the goal or over. It's going to be hard to so open out that body, lean into it. It's going to go along. Yeah? Yep. 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 Right. Arky run, yep, across, good strike. Three, yep. two, one, yep, bounce. Good strike, 
Hello, Rupo. Okay, two, one, pop. Ah! Okay, it's okay. What I will say is, once you've hit the ball, try and leave that standing foot as well. If you hit, stay on it. Look how hard it is to balance on that leg. It's going everywhere. Yeah. So we really want to be disciplined with that strike. So if I stay on this leg, I'm just going to go middle of the goal because I can't rotate enough while my leg is planted. So give me that ball back. If I come off of my standing leg, it's so much easier if I get it out of my feet. See what I mean? Yeah. Straight across. Two, one, bounce. Yep, in you go. Go on. Woo! Great strike. Much better. Three, two, one, check in. In you go. It's a great strike. Nice connection. A little bit more over the ball. Three, two, one, bang. Good, in you go. Open out. That's a great strike again. Okay, mate. A lot of competition. Me v you. We'll get three balls from either side. So one of us pings the ball into the square. The other player has to finish the ball. So three points for a top corner, two points for a bottom corner, one point if you hit the goal shot. But you get two touches in here. So if you get the ball down in one touch, finish it with your second shot, that's just normal points. If you keep the ball up with one touch, strike it with your second, double your score. And if you hit it on the volley first time, triple your score. Okay. So three balls from this side, three balls from that side. Round one. Oh. All right. Three points. <laughs> we'll take it. Three points. Oh. Nine points. Okay. Nine nil. Three, two, one. Good touch. Killed you on that one. Wow. Three points. Oi! Six to three. You're already on nine. Oh my god. Ready? Yeah. Oh. So six. Again. All right. Six, yeah. 12, yeah. 15. So it's 15 at 9. 24, 24, 11. 13 points to draw. You need 14 points for the win. Ready? All right. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Touch. Oh. Love it. 3, 2, 1. Top corner. You win, right? <laughs> I don't even know the maths, but I'm pretty sure you won. Amazing. Left foot. Wow. Unreal. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We certainly did. Just for me? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, sometimes like you have to take the small details from every angle of the pitch. Sometimes like it's so good like to work with like one of your friends or like to see the smallest things like can help you so much improvement in the pitch. Like you know. Uh, movement with uh, how the way you shoot with the right, the way how you shoot with the left, the smallest thing like you know can make big improvements in like in games. So, yeah, definitely. It's so good to have people that can be honest with you enough to want to help you improve your technique. Obviously, having video is a good option as well if you yeah. can do it. If you don't have anyone else to train with, you can video yourself doing different striking techniques. Compare yourself to the pros, see what you're doing differently, see what you're doing the same. Obviously, everyone wants to have their own unique technique, but there's definitely things you can take away, like planting foot, mm -hmm. putting your arm out for balance. A lot of those little tiny details that make a huge difference. But we had a lot of fun today, a lot of finishes in there with both feet and some match-specific scenarios as well. So just working on some off-the-ball movement as well. It's much better to do that than just to come out here and just roll balls out your feet and smash them into the net. Even though that's really good for working on your technique, if you can find ways to kind of replicate match scenarios, it's just going to help you when it comes on the pitch. You're going to see some of these situations become a lot more familiar and they'll become second nature as well. But I think me and Alex are due a coffee. A lot of good work this morning. Oh, yes. It's only about nine o'clock now, so we can go home, relax the rest of the day. But good session, mate. 
Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, follow Alex on Instagram, I'm gonna put it in the description box below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.